just think it's easy to just write, let's keep going, let's keep going, mm -hmm. and then you've left like five kids behind mm -hmm. that haven't got a scooby what you're doing. Yeah. So I'd rather not spend time on whatever yeah. to make sure we're all on the same page so we can then move on together. Mm -hmm. And so then do you think it would be beneficial to encourage the ones who maybe don't respond so much to sort of articulate maybe yeah. a, a, you know, a response into, to, to what you're saying so they may be yeah. you know, sort of they're also aware of sort of... I think so. I mean, I know myself sometimes that I think as you say all this and it's, you know, you, you're just, you are human, you know, and sometimes you just kind of forget. Oh, of course. Um, I think it's, I think it's trying to find ways to encourage the other kids that aren't as confident in speaking mm -hmm. aloud um, to, for you to make sure that you know that they understand. Mm -hmm. I think that's maybe something that I personally could look at a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. True. Okay, uh, right, so we've done that one. Done that one. Um, okay, how would you describe your relationship with the students? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Um, and do you think it's an important element in relation to their progress and learning experiences? Yeah, I do think, I think so. I think you need to, it's kind of that, it has to be like a, a trusting environment mm -hmm. that they, if they make a mistake that it's okay is that kind of trial and error that, mm -hmm. like, obviously you want them to get things correct, but mm -hmm. if they go wrong, it's okay. If they fall over on something, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Like, you're learning. You can't be perfect straight away. Mm -hmm. So I think having that environment where it is a positive and encouraging environment and th that they can feel comfortable and safe that it's, it's okay to mm -hmm. go wrong or whatever. Yeah, good. Um, okay, what type of feedback strategies do you find most beneficial for this group? Um, in terms of like me giving feedback or uh -huh. you giving feedback? Well, both. Um, Let's start with you giving feedback. Me giving feedback? Mm -hmm. uh, I think, well, I don't know if that's what you're meaning, but I think um, I try to encourage them all the time. Mm -hmm. I try to praise them. And even, I mean, I don't know. Even if something, say you've asked them to practice a pirouette, right, and even if the pirouette's still not any better or whatever, even just say, great, that's fantastic, well done, so-and-so, like, even if it wasn't any better, I think just having that bit of a, a wee positive, because they are still trying, like, mm -hmm. they're still putting the work in, so I think mm -hmm. it's, it's for them to acknowledge, or for you to acknowledge they are trying, and, because I think if it's constantly, if there's no praise in the class, mm -hmm. that it's just so dark, and, and oh. No. And do you think they respond well to I, personal, hands-on feedback, visual, vocal? Uh, I've not really thought about that. Um, I think, I guess, it's individual. Like, mm -hmm. um, they they all do, it's all different. You know, some of them you can see when you when you give them a good or a oh, can you work on this or whatever. You can see them. I don't know, come to life or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but others quite w work well on a generic, right, you either need to go and buckle down and get your stuff together. Mm -hmm. Or, great, well done. Like, I think it's very, I think they're all individual. Mm -hmm. And I think it's difficult with teaching is like it's not just a once thing. Uh -huh, you know, course. you've got to, and I think that's when you need to know your students, you need mm -hmm. to know how they work and how they, or how they don't work. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, do your feedback strategies alter with different year groups? Um, I'd say I, I th as a person, I think you have your own kind of style. Um, but then again, it's going back to the student. Mm -hmm. You know, you have some kids that maybe work well and being a bit more tough. I don't want to say tough as in scary, but mm -hmm. you know, um, or you might have some year groups that just don't don't work well with that at all. And again, that's what's hard, is that every year does change and you've got to, again, reassess your class, reassess your pupils, what they like, what they don't like. And then the thing is, they're not going to verbally say, oh, by the way, miss, I, can't, I don't like mm -hmm. <laughs> this or that. You've kind of got to look, mm -hmm. I think, see their body language, see their facial reactions and mm -hmm. try and figure it out that way. I think it's really hard. Yeah, of course. I think um, it's... What you're saying is like considering all the different types of learner that you've got before you yeah. and trying to sort of manage that in the best way because it, it's a very different environment. I think being in 
the studio trying to teach these kids something that to them maybe they've already done 500 times yeah, before yeah. and trying to find some sort of way that they're still going to find that really, really uh, exciting, yeah, really yeah. fresh. I think that's that's a challenge, but I think as well, the, from obviously the, folk, the groups that we've just had there, they all seem very willing to learn and really engaged yeah, in they what they're yeah. you know wanting to achieve. So here I've just written... Do you think that a mix of individual and group feedback is useful? Could the correction of one individual perhaps apply to the full class as a whole and then be shared as a whole? Uh, I can make a little picture of this, but yeah, I guess, yeah, so maybe, maybe I've seen one of the students do something mm -hmm. and I go to correct him and then, that, and then I go, right, Kate, everyone, can you just watch? Mm -hmm. So, so can we see a different leg line or yeah. if you do X, Y, Z, can we just spend five seconds, five minutes, mm -hmm. whatever, just let's all look at this and let's make sure we're all doing the same. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's what you were meaning. No, no, of course. So like visualising. I think as well, like, uh, what was it going to say? like modelling, sort of maybe using an, another pupil, yes, like you just said, and saying, thing, yeah. okay, here, so they can actually visually see, yes. oh, okay, she's asking me to do that with, you know, my posture or, you know, uh -huh. okay. Um, do you think the students receive the right amount of feedback for the amount of classes that they have? Uh, personally or as a general? Personally. Uh, I would say so. I mean, sometimes I know I go overkill and then I'm like, oh gosh, where's the time going? Uh -huh, <laughs> like, uh -huh. Sometimes I feel I need to be in it in a wee bit because mm -hmm. they, they, they can only take on so much information, even mm -hmm. if it's feedback in terms of they need to work on whatever sometimes I can go over the top with it mm -hmm. um, so that's a personal thing that I maybe need to be a bit more aware of because mm -hmm. um, then that does eat into your class mm -hmm. yeah. to time management it's not yes. the <laughs> <laughs> um, and how do you assess the learning of the pupils um, what do you mean so how do you how do you know they've made an improvement? How do you assess that you know they've made a significant amount of improvement from, say, last week when they did a certain thing to this week when you're moving on to something else? Um, I think you can see. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's the thing. It's physically you can maybe see a difference, whether they mentally mm -hmm. have made it. Like, it, they've mentally maybe understood it more. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm assuming by if it's physical, mm -hmm. there is a bit more of an understanding. Yeah. Um, and I know I wouldn't move on until I've seen at least a difference. Mm -hmm. um, or that they verbally have said um, that they understood. Mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, when students are observing their peers, mm -hmm. so like if there's one group on the floor yeah. and there, obviously others are watching, do you think it could be beneficial to sort of maybe set the group that are watching a task in order for them to maybe, yeah. okay, I don't know, so sort of like a pair them up sort of idea and then yeah. have them, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I try and do that and even if it's just some positive feedback, because mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, for dance it's so easy to look at the negatives mm -hmm. and go, well this isn't right, this blah blah blah, it's so easy to just go back to negative, so even if it's just to instill some positivity, I'll, like for instance the first years of the other week we just like some portable exercise mm -hmm. and I just got them to peer up, watch each other and find one good thing that they mm -hmm. did that the other person did or sometimes it's like well okay right so we're looking at I don't know like the shape of the arms or whatever mm -hmm. can you check that they're doing as yeah. that, those sort of tasks mm -hmm. um, and I, I do think they, they do work off well from that mm -hmm. sometimes like I find all oh, you know, it's um, if, if say an or a small group are doing it and another group's watching, they'll maybe just say, "Oh, my best pal did really good here, mm -hmm. and they did this really nice." Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I find it, you don't really get much out of that. Okay. Um, that's why I'd rather do like a, a peery thing. Mm -hmm. So I actually pair them up and maybe switch them because you can kind of tell who's pally with who. Yeah. And, and even um, have like someone that's maybe not so verbally confident uh -huh. um, with maybe someone that's a bit more so they can try and get that dialogue. Okay, nice.
And just to go back to this yeah, one at the beginning, how do you go about achieving the aims of um, the